Good morning, friends, and welcome to this latest episode of Patriots Video Blogs for YouTube. Once again, I'm your host, Brutus, and um, this morning I would like to uh, discuss a few of the uh, latest headlines. Uh, this first headline I have here uh, says, uh, Stimulus Package pla uh, Passes uh, Congress Despite GOP Opposition. Um, friends, these are the type of headlines that sometimes you just have to laugh at, or at least I have to laugh at sometimes because they're just so blatantly ignorant. Um, it's true that the GOP, uh, at least in the House of Representatives, was uh, unanimously against the uh, stimulus package. But um, what is not mentioned in this story, at least, is that 58% of the American people uh, were against the stimulus package. Um, basically, all this story here is is um, a, a partisan piece uh, trying to slam uh, Republicans for not supporting the president's first piece of major legislation. Um, well, I, I, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to necessarily say that the the, the GOP's uh, vote against the stimulus package was uh, entirely genuine. I mean, there's certainly a few uh, decent uh, Republican congressmen that can I can still uh, call true conservatives in the House, but um, the bigger issue here is, with me at least, is that um, this is phrased as some kind of partisan battle when um, really the important thing to make note of in, in the media would be that uh, the American people were against the stimulus package, but that is nowhere mentioned. Um, Moving on, I have a, uh, a second story here. <clears throat> it says, uh, $787 billion stimulus package uh, passes. Uh, President Obama vows he will sign it on Tuesday. Um, reading further down, the story says, uh, uh, let's see here. It says, now Americans can go to work doing the jobs that America needs done. Um, from what I've uh, seen of the stimulus, 1,400 some page stimulus package, Mr. President, uh, it seems more like uh, now the American people can go to work doing the things that uh, your administration and the uh, federal government want done, uh, which is mainly uh, increase uh, federal spending uh, enormously and uh, increase the size, scope, and power of the federal government. <clears throat> uh, reading further down in the story, it gets even... Uh, more humorous. Uh, it says uh, uh, only the government is uh, capable of stimulating this economy because the private sector no longer has the capital to uh, stimulate the economy. When they say capital, of course, they mean that the private sector, uh, meaning me and you and you know corporations and businesses, no longer have the money to uh, stimulate our our own spending. Friends, this is just hilarious because. Uh, where does the government get its money is the question. Um, uh, the government is supposed to be getting its money from taxes, which uh, tax money which comes from the private sector, uh, the supposed sector that doesn't have the money to stimulate it itself. So um, this is ridiculous, which means uh, if the government is, isn't planning on getting the money from the pri broke private sector, they must either be getting it uh, from one or two other places or maybe a combination of those. Uh, the first one being uh, they're just going to uh, crank up the printing press and just print off trillions of dollars more to pay for this, uh, which in turn will uh, increase the price of everything to the working class. Uh, or either that or they're going to uh, sell China some more of our debt, um, in which case our national debt will keep racking up. Uh, but it looks like even China is starting to wise up and get a little nervous about buying our debt. <clears throat> but um, we'll see what happens. Um, either way, I'm predicting uh, the future is not going to be so sunny uh, because of the passage of this bill. Um, but uh, we'll save that for the next episode. 